Hello, this video covers how to navigate your way around the Multicharts' Quote Manager program while providing more advanced and in-depth explanations of symbol mapping through a data source. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you out there ran into some confusion trying to understand how the data sources are configured and why symbols need to be individually mapped in this platform. I know I was a little lost in the beginning, but it definitely makes a lot of sense once you seek an understanding. If you're new to this style and not quite picking things up, it's okay. It's really only something you need to do once. Especially if you came from using a platform with only one data feed option, you know, with preloaded and defined contract symbols. Your old way may appear to leave everything much less complicated, but however, that allows it less potential in the end at the same time. The capabilities of multi-charts in regards to being a multi-broker, multi-data feed style kind of leaves it a very flexible piece of software with, again, a lot of potential and opportunity. So right off the bat, I should bring to your attention from the help menu, an important resource to use is the Quote Manager User Guide which is in a nice organized format and includes a search feature for easy reference. This will include everything really from solid definitions that help one understand the big picture of what's going on here to even the instructions on programs most minute features. As you probably noticed when you first opened up the quote manager window for the first time, Multicharts is for some reason equipped with an example quote list full of symbols mapped through data sources like eSignal and FreeQuotes. I'm not exactly sure why they do this. It does really confuse a lot of new users, including myself, uh, way back when. Um, if, you have, if you've already added some symbols to your list mapped through Rhythmic01, you know, from the main multicharts framework, as described in a previous video of mine, then you should see them mixed in with this example list. To simplify things, what I suggest doing is deleting all these preloaded symbols. So how you would do this is either right-clicking on the individual row you want to delete and select delete, or you can highlight multiple rows by holding down the control key and clicking, clicking all of them and then selecting delete to delete them all at once. We can also delete the symbols under the indexes and stocks as well as you see in your filter menu to the left. So when we want to add a contract map through Rhythmic01 we're going to take similar steps to when it's done through the main multi charts program. So from the main menu we're going to go to instrument, add symbol from data source and select Rhythmic01. The window that comes up should look familiar, so go ahead and add whatever symbols you'd like. Once they're added, you should then be able to see them in your Quote Manager list. So next time you go to open up a new chart window and, and it forces you to select a contract, you'll actually see the symbols you've added here in the Quote Manager window. I mean, from here, you can do some customizing in the Quote Manager window. Uh, you could do this by right-clicking on a row and selecting Edit Symbol, for example. Here, you can define such things as its description, its price increment movements, or its default open trading session hours. And further customizations can be made to the column headings where you can choose to display some useful data such as a contract's official expiration date by adding that specific column heading. And along the bottom session section you're going to see the event log. This will provide details on things such as connection attempts, connection status, and other information useful in troubleshooting platform and connection issues. You will see some log entries being made when I change the contract being displayed by this dome window here I have up. And it will indicate if I've connected to the data feed from that 
particular exchange successfully. If you take a look at the tools menu up here at the top, it will provide a handful of useful resources such as a symbol dictionary for each available data source and a session template menu allowing you to view and edit a particular exchange's active daily trading session or you can always create one yourself. Also two things you don't normally think about but are beneficial is being able to look up the expiration rules of a contract and even something like a daily holiday schedule when some exchanges do not open for trading at all which can be good to know. So actually let's take a second and go back to the main multi-charts program and open up a new chart. And let's say for example you have access to two different data feeds one that provides only lengthy historical data and one that provides only intraday data down to a, a tick. A neat function that multi-charts has um, is to actually take the strengths of each data source and merge them together displaying a single chart with basically every length of price data you need. This can be activated by the checkbox up top on the format instrument menu where you must then define which data source is to be used for historical and which is to be used for real time. I mean, in general, it really helps a lot to dig into all these menus and functions of each branch of multi-charts, including the quote manager, and play around with these features and settings that you may know nothing about, um, but you will learn from them, and they might even turn out to be beneficial down the road in some respect. So this concludes my video on the quote manager application in multi-charts. Thanks for watching.